What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I was going to show you the type of filaments that I've been printing with. I've had quite a few people ask me about that. Um, so yeah, I've been mainly printing with TPU and PLA, or excuse me, that's all I've been printing with. TPU is a really flexible uh, material. This is a GoPro mount. You can see it holds its form and pops back. Um, we use that stuff for FPV drone stuff. Here's another uh, mount. But as you can see, you can get very good um, TPU prints with the Ender 3 V2. You just gotta get your settings dialed in. As you can see, this is a box of just uh, crap I was getting my settings dialed in with, just printing a bunch of tiny little pieces. Um, yeah, you can definitely see it's it's getting pretty pretty decent for the most part for a, you know an entry level printer. Um, there's another example, that's why I have the drone over here so you can see the, the mount I designed this in uh, Fusion 360. Um, but anyways, for the PLA filaments, I've got um, a bunch of different random stuff here that I've printed that, just so I could show you the result of, uh, of the uh, filament. Um, this first one I have here is, uh, is my wife got this one. Um, Urion, however you say that. Uh, I got this on Amazon. This is a really cool filament. It's like a glitter uh, color if you're into purple or you got a wife or a lady friend that likes stuff. This stuff turns out really cool. Um, this is just a top to an egg. But... Uh, yeah, it's a sweet looking, sweet looking filament. It, it glistens and glimes or whatever you want to say. Um, this other box, this was a super cheap box I got on Amazon. Excuse me one second. It's called uh, Gizmo Dorks. It came in a four pack and it was only freaking, um, I think like 25 bucks. They're not full size rolls, like the, the bigger rolls, um, which are like 800 grams. They're a little smaller. But this is a killer deal for, um, you know, just starting out, testing out some different filaments. Um, the red dude here was printed with the red. That was straight off the printer. Turned out pretty sweet. This is the blue. I don't have any of the green laying around. But, uh, yeah, it's super cool colors. Um, that's the Gizmo Dorks. This is the TPU stuff. Sorry, I keep blocking the light. Um, this is flexible. The, this is pre-line. Oh, you can barely see it there. It's called uh, PRI line. Yeah, PR line. Uh, this is a good, decent filament. This is um, for TPU. Um, all the other filaments so far have been PLA. Excuse me if I haven't made that clear. The only three, just say that now, just so I don't confuse anybody. So these two are TPU. This stack is PLA, and the wheel that's on there is the clear. Um, the clear TPU. So, yeah, that's the TPU, the flexible stuff. Um, I haven't had any bad luck with any filament yet. The the TPU uh, is Sane Smart stuff. I think I have a box of it sitting around here somewhere. Yep, excuse me. Sorry for the shaky camera stuff. I'm doing this handheld again. So this is the Sane Smart um, filament. It's like 23, 24 bucks on Amazon. Not bad deal at all. Um, I like the TPU. It's more challenging to print with as well too. But uh, yeah, it, it's the Sane Smart is way more flexible than the Preline. So the Preline will print a little bit easier. It's not. Um, it's a little easier to get better looking results with the Preline because it's not. They, they say they're rated the exact same uh, flexible rating, however you call it, uh, but they're clearly not. The Sane Smart is way more flexible than the Preline. But they're both good. They both have their purposes. So, I mean, if you wanted something extremely flexible, the um, Sane Smart would be great. And if you wanted something a little harder but still flexible, the Preline does the job just fine. But, um, yeah, back to the PLA filament. Sorry about that. So, this box, Gizmo Dorks on Amazon. Killer deal. Um, this stuff, this purple stuff was super, super cool too. Um, I haven't had any issues with any of the filaments. I don't remember what this black roll, what brand this black roll was. Um, I got it on Amazon as well too. I will uh, I will look at my Amazon order history and tell you the brand of that. Um, that's been good. That was, uh, that's this dragon, the Game of Thrones dragon that I printed. Um, yeah, I haven't had any issues with that filament. All the black stuff that I have was, uh, was printed with that, um, with that brand of, uh, PLA. Oh, that's another example of that sparkly stuff. This is like one of the first designs I made in Fusion 360. My wife sells Cincy, if you know what that is. But uh, yeah, it's cool looking. 
Um, another good thing to get for your filaments, I don't know if it's a, a thing with uh, PLA, but TPU is hydroscopic, I believe the word is, and uh, it absorbs moisture. So if you let it sit out, it can absorb moisture, absorb mo I can't even say that, absorb moisture, excuse me, and uh, it'll make your prints look like crap. So I pulled all my filaments out, but I bought, um, I'll show you this here, I bought this box at Walmart for like 10 bucks. It's a rubber seal um, little box. And then I have whatever the heck these things are called. I got this on Amazon as well. It's some kind of uh, desiccant, I believe it's called. They're just the, you, everybody's seen the little bags, the little, little things that come in all the packages, uh, desiccant or silica, whatever it's called. And I just have a couple packs of those in there and uh, I seal up all my filament in there. And I also bought uh, this thing, which is just uh, a dehydrator, and I took the racks, and I cut the holes, or I cut a center, sorry if it's not focusing very well, I cut the three of the middle racks out. That's a nice noise. I cut three middle racks out, and then the filaments, the rolls of uh, TPU, will sit in there no problem. Um, I got that as well from uh, Walmart. It was like 38 bucks, I believe. A um, little bit of an investment, but I mean, you throw your filament in there for, you know, four or five hours, and it's a pretty significant difference from, um, from when it's got moisture in it. Well, here you can see a little bit right here, if it'll focus and show you. There's little, it, it doesn't look, I don't know how to explain it. There's little like, um, looks almost like missing filament. It just looks crappy, the quality does. And then on this one, this is after it was dried, it looks a lot cleaner. It does a, it does a way better job. So it's definitely worth uh, drying your filaments uh, if you're printing with TPU. I haven't ran into that problem with PLA. I was actually gonna test it. I was gonna um, soak it in water and then uh, let it dry and print it and then try, you know, throw it in the dehydrator and then seeing what the results were. I'm just curious. I haven't heard anybody talk about um, PLA being an issue very much, but, uh, or with moisture, but anyways, oh, this is a white, I almost forgot, this is a white filament, I haven't even printed with this yet, uh, Sun Lu, it's had good reviews as well too, but, um, yeah, it, I'm pretty sure it's the same stuff, uh, as this, I can't remember the brand of this stuff, this stuff is really awesome, uh, it's white, obviously, and it sands super easy, and uh, you can erase the lines. Like, I don't know if you can see. There's no lines on this. I was going to print this for my kid. I still haven't done it, but or painted, excuse me. But, um, yeah, you can sand the lines off. So if you're into making really cool-looking models and you want to sand it down and make it perfect before you print it, um, that's a definitely a good filament to do. I haven't had any issues with any filaments. So if you're you know, thinking about what filament to get or nervous about a brand or something like that, um, just get one with good reviews. Like I said, I've tried out, um, what do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, five or six different uh, brands of filament here, and I haven't had uh, any issues or like noticeable differences with anything. I've been happy with all of them so far. So um, yeah, I had a couple people ask me about filaments, so I wanted to make a quick video on that. Um, we appreciate all the support we've gotten to from the last couple of videos. Uh, I definitely plan on making, uh, I have a Cura settings video almost done. And, uh, I was also going to do a firmware, um, upgrade, how to upgrade your firmware from, uh, the stock firmware to the TH3D firmware, um, step by step, because it was completely overwhelming for me. So I'm literally going to redo the entire thing, show you every single step and, um, you know, record record it the entire way, show you everything I'm doing online, or excuse me, on the computer, and uh, make it pretty straightforward so anybody can just, you know, literally follow along. So, right on guys, thank you very much for uh, checking out the video. Let me know if you have any questions or comments or uh, any other topics you'd like to discuss. I'm loving 3D printing, so uh, yeah, if you guys are interested in something, let me know, and um, yeah, I'll dive into it. I'll figure it out. So, uh, also too, um, I have a BL Touch. I don't know if you guys watched my last video. Um, I was gonna return it. I still haven't returned it. Um, I'll probably do a giveaway for it if somebody's interested in the BL Touch. Um, yeah, we're thinking probably about 500 subscribers. We were gonna give away either some FPV stuff or a 3D printer piece or something like that. Maybe some filament. I don't know. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys are interested in. 
um, we'll let the, the winner pick. So just make sure you're subscribed and around uh, as soon as we hit 500 subs, uh, we'll have a giveaway video and just leave a comment on there or whatnot. So anyways, thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate all the support again. Have a good day. Talk to you later. Peace.